Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, it's 8 p.m. Wednesday and Gabil, the co-founder of twogaijin.com, here with you again with a new topic. Actually, this topic is kind of an unexpected topic because it happened with me this week and uh, I was quite surprised and uh, I wanted to share it with you. I'm sure some of you already had this kind of experience maybe. So I hope it will help you to solve the, one of the problems that uh, we are facing here in Japan and that's about the bills especially um, I want today to talk about the com communal fees like uh, electricity gas uh, water kind of stuff you know, or internet or phone so today I'll have two cases that uh, happened with me and I want to share it with you so maybe you'll have more knowledge and um, information from now on so in case you'll have any trouble you know what to do from now on so let's start it so as you know uh, let's start from the brief int introduction as you know twogaijin.com is a second-hand item trade platform for foreigners living in Japan it's a website we have a twogaijin.com website where you can go list your items sell them and um, meet with the people who are buying them transfer it to them get your money and uh, get the items that you want from the other foreigners living here in Sapporo especially so, um, this week I got an envelope that was written that I need to pay for my March and April fees for the electricity. And I was kind of surprised because I was thinking I have already paid for it. And then after I was like, okay, let me have like some day. And after that, I'll call the electricity company and talk with them and see what's going on because I think I have paid for it. So after two days, I receive another envelope inside again bills, but this time it is for March and May. So there is no April. And I was quite puzzled because um, we have just paid for the April and I think I have paid for the March, but it seems it didn't happen. And here what's happening. So when you are not paying to the electricity on time, you are getting an envelope which has a yellow sign showing that this is a special envelope. And on the other side, you will have the months that you haven't paid for. So in this one, this is for March and April, third months and fourth months. And I was thinking that with my wife, we went to the 7-Eleven last week and we already paid for April. Not last week, maybe two weeks ago. And uh, for the March, I already have paid for. But uh, apparently, this is not the case. So when you get this kind of envelope, uh, here will be written your name. And then will be Kyaksama Bango, which means the customer number. So if you need to learn all information about your electricity bills, these are stored in this number. So if you call the company or if you have registered on their, um, I don't know if they have a application or software for that, but on the website, I'm sure they have a website and you can check track your uh, usage of the electricity. So they will call, um, you, you can call them and ask them about like what's happening. So what happened is I called them and I asked them, why I'm getting billed for the April and March and now for the May and uh, in two different envelopes it's coming two different times and I'm not knowing what's going on. So they said, okay, tell us your uh, customer number so we'll check our database. And I sent them my customer number and they checked the database and they were like, sorry, I think there was a mistake. You have already paid for the April. You need to pay for the March and May, which is the second envelope that I got. I'm like, why did I get a second one, a first one then? They were like, we, there was a mistake. We are sorry for that. So it means if I wouldn't wait and I would go and pay, it means I would pay for the months that I've already paid for. And I think in the past, maybe it happened. And um, because I do remember, I sometimes get the yellow envelope because um, I stack all these envelopes together and then sometimes they expire. So I don't pay on time. Um, so I kind of got quite surprised, but this is not the first case with Hokuden because the place that I have moved, I moved in September 
And in February, I got a envelope from electricity company telling me that I haven't paid for almost six months and they're going to stop my electricity. And I, when I asked them why, they said, because you didn't pay for it. I said, actually, I was thinking it's getting charged with the house because I didn't get any envelope from uh, the September up until February. And then they checked their system and they said, sorry, this is our mistake because we didn't register you. Even though I have called them and then they came to my house and then they confirmed that I am start living there and I have my contract. So it means it could happen also with you. If you are going to move to a new place, confirm that Hokuden is aware that you have moved to a new place and they're charging you every month. Plus, if you are going to move to a new place or if you are going to skip some payments, if it happened with you, then you'll get a, one of those these yellow envelopes and most time if it is more than two months it's written that if you don't pay until this time your electricity will, will be stopped so it's better to pay it on time of course but here's the confusion uh, on the other side you'll have a barcode and if you go to 7-eleven near my home is 7-eleven most time i'm paying from 7-eleven and almost you can find it everywhere so if you go there, they will just read the barcode and then they will charge you. And you will think that you have paid for the two. That's what happened with me. For I think for the maybe February I have paid and I thought I have paid for, uh, for the March I have paid, but I, I have paid for the February. And because this barcode is only for one month. And most of the time it's the first month on the list. So if you didn't, let's say you have, uh, January and February and there's a barcode it means the barcode is for the January in my case it was for uh, March and April so if I would pay for the bar with the barcode it means I'm paying for the March and I'm still skipping April and uh, most times we do rely on the person on the like cashier because we don't know what to do with it right you could just give it they'll read it and they'll tell you okay this is the amount you need to pay and you pay it and you think you have paid for your bills. But if it is two months, like in my case, and uh, you have paid for it, but you don't know if you paid all or not, because it could happen, we are human beings, we can mistake with the amount. So it means you have paid for one month with the barcode, but you didn't pay for the month that is still missing. So next month, you'll get one more time, one of these, telling you that you have to pay for this month and this month and you'll be like I have already paid for that month why I, it's coming back you didn't because the barcode is for one month so what should we do what should you do actually there's a solution so when you get the number you will get number for the payments it doesn't happen in 7-eleven because in 7-eleven there's no special uh, machine to do that but in Seiko Mart, Family Mart, um, I have done in those two places, there is a special ATM that you can pay for your bills. And in those um, automatic machines, you can just put the numbers which is written here and your name and your fee will appear there and then you can pay with that. In I have done it in Family Mart and you Family Mart, you get a receipt. And in Seiko Mart, it's just you do at the Reggie, at the cashier, and the number is appearing there and then you, you pay for it. So this is something that happened with me with electricity. And I'm sure it's happening with some of you. And maybe you are getting two months payments and you are thinking, oh, I already paid for it last time. Why I'm getting charged again? You didn't because the system is how it works. We It's quite uh, confusing to me, even though I do understand some Japanese, but... I'm sure it's also confusing for you because you are getting an envelope, you are paying for it, and you still get not paid enough for the months that's written on it. It's because the barcode is for one month only, and it's most times it's the first month in the list. You need to get payment done with the numbers that's written on the paper in uh, other uh, convenience stores other than 7-Eleven. So this is one case about electricity. And quite happening with me uh, this year and uh, in 2016 it happened when I moved uh, to the new apartment that I'm living now. So Hokuden sometimes could cause some troubles 
So if you are having any issue related to that, don't hesitate. You can write me, you can write in the group, you can write in the under this video and I can ask, answer your questions. Another thing is, I think I've already told about it. Some Japanese companies are trying to ignore the foreigners when they are talking because for them we are ununderstandable. We, they don't understand us. When they hear a foreigner talking Japanese, they're like, oh my, here it comes. So they think it is too much hassle. We are like claimers for them. So they just try to behave as if we are just a sound, as a voice. There's no understandable words. There's no communication going on. So if I, it happened with me about the internet. I think I have told about it at the really beginning of this series when we were talking about like how to get your phone fixed, how you get your internet done and all those kind of stuff. So if you are going to move from one place to another one, you need to do uh, finish the agreement with the electricity companies, with the gas company, with the internet company. And in my case, I did with an internet company thinking that one call is enough, but I have had to do to do two calls. One is my internet provider, another one is NTT. I did with my internet provider because I knew I did contract with them, but in the contract was the name of NTT as well. So I should have called NTT as well, but I didn't. I didn't know about that. And uh, at the new place, I started seeing that my uh, bank book being charged for the internet two times per month. One is the place where I'm living now, and the other one is for the, I don't know why, but there's another one. And then I started digging went to the Ucho um, post bank and asked them and they said oh this is an internet company NTT is charging you for the internet that you're using I'm like I haven't been using NTT for the last um, three months I think it was three months so why do they charge me so they were like we don't know call them and ask them so I find the phone number and I call them and they check the system and they're like yeah we are charging you because you didn't do fin ending the agreement your agreement is still on with us so you need to cancel it so i'm like all right let's cancel it sorry we cannot cancel it now you we have to wait until end of the month so it means we are going to charge you for this month as well and i'm like i haven't been living in that home for the last four months why are you still charging me even though i did like finish ending the agreement they're like because you didn't do it with us so i couldn't explain them the trouble and i ended up asking my home owner who is living in the first floor of my house and he just called them and within like 15 to 20 minutes everything was done he fixed it he talked with them and then they agreed to give me back all the payments for the four months which is four times seven thousand yen and i got money within i think two months back like i he he, he applied on behalf of me for that and after the two months the money was in my bank account and they didn't charge me for the months that they were going to charge me so i would say first of all even though we are in japan trouble does happen and if it's trouble is happening you can solve it there is no unsolvable issues in japan most time they're honest and most time they do understand if you talk with them but the trouble is we cannot communicate properly with Japanese because of the language barrier. Even though you can speak Japanese, sometimes you'll find out that they don't understand what you want to say, not the words, but the meaning in general. So you need to clear out everything. And it's quite difficult without having a help, a hand from a Japanese person. So if you are having a Japanese around you, hold them really tight ask them for the help if, in, in case you need. And most time they're really, really open for the helping because as you know, we are foreigners here. We are like, have no one here, are no relatives, no close friends that we used to have. So Japanese do understand that. That's why they are having empathy towards us. So um, you can ask them and they will be really happy to help you. So it happened with me, with my homeowner, house owner, and uh, he was really happy to help me. And I'm really happy that he helped me. We have a really good relationship with him. So tonight I wanted to talk about these two troubles. One about electricity. So anytime you are getting one of these yellow sheets, be sure that you are paying for the both of the months or if there's three maybe for the three months. Otherwise you'll get the same thing again. And if you're going to pay it as with just the barcode, it means probably you'll be in the 7-Eleven. Go with these numbers. 
with these numbers to Family Mart or Seiko Mart and put it in the cashier, get the numbers and pay all months so that next time you don't get back one of these envelopes. So it was from me for tonight. I wanted to give you some small um, help, some small information that could help you to survive in Japan during this pandemic. A new one is coming, which is, I think, monkeypox. So hopefully we won't have uh, one of our members got uh, COVID-19. I wish him to get well soon, Salim. And um, I think he's doing all right. He's, he's a tough guy. So next month, next week, we are going to have another topic. Guys, um, we have been doing all these topics from our own side. And we didn't get that much feedback from you, which topics you would like to hear more. So if you have anything that you would like to uh, share, or if you would like to ask us and we would answer that, we will be really happy. So don't hesitate. Write about that in the group. And um, next week is Hokudai Sai. I wish all you good luck with Hokudai Sai. Hope we can sell enough food and have fun time. And uh, thank you for listening. See you next week. See you next time. Bye-bye.